Hello friends, this is Jeffrey. Today we're going to talk about this uh, Enso AD510. It is the upgrade version of uh, Enso AD310. It has a bigger size and a wider screen and also it supports the update and you can print the data via this USB and it also has the memory card inside you can play back all the data. So it's an engine full code reader. It has a CD for the upgrade and the software and this is the user menu and carry back and the main machine and now we bring a Volkswagen ECU and we will test it on a Volkswagen so this is the first screen when you connect it on and this is the main screen you see this menu so diagnostic and DTC lookup and review you can set up the language now there are four or uh, five languages inside you can see uh, Chinese and German and uh, English French and then the Russian so this is well support the Russian so we can see if we change to Russian so it'll be like this so I'm gonna show in English here we can also set up the beef and the unit and do a self test for the for the device. From here you can print the data. It has a memory card. You can select print all or print only the DTC freeze frame or data stream. And here's the help. And review, you can review all this data or you can delete it from the memory card. So here you can look up the DTC. And let's go for the main function for the diagnostic. So this keyboard has uh, up, down, left, right. It's very easy for the uh, turn the page. And then here's the OK and Iron Witness faster button. This button, anytime you can click on here, you can see the help to see what this function, what what this option is, and the exit. So we can see when you first connect, it will show you how many data you can see from this ECU. So this is only the ECU, maybe it may not uh, all support it. So you can see there's a, uh, uh, there's a ask and you can click on here. It will give you a tips. So it's very convenient for the, for the user, especially the DIY. It's a main menu. So first we can use it to read the data, read the code, can go to the pending codes and you will see there's a lot of uh, full code from this ECU because this is a broken ECU only for test. So you can record the DTC and it will be saved. So later you can view it from the map from the playback. Also you can click on erase and it will guide you need to turn the ignition on and engine off. So it has been clear. And then you can e exit. So also you can see the I am witness. You can select the option. You can turn the page by this left right button and the data stream this is a live data you can select the item view it by the text or view it by the graph so let's see from the graph so you click here okay it will click so you can turn the page very fast by the left right button and you click on okay and they will be showing in real time and it's it's also uh, in color screen so all the graph will be in different color so you can recognize it very easily you can also uh, record it and also let's uh, exit or record all or record selected item so it, be, it will be safe automatically and this is a freeze frame 
if you have the freeze frame recorded, it will be showing. So this uh, AD510 compared to AD310, it have more function, like the O2 sensor test and the onboard monitor test and the EVAP, EVAP system test, like this Model 8. But I think this is not supported because uh, it's only the ECU. And also you can retrieve the vehicle information by click on here. You can see if you have uh, if you taxi in the car you will have the wind code and then also the CID the calibration information and all this information one very good uh, tips is this uh, device also do a battery monitor for your vehicle if your battery is low it will indicate it and there will be lights to show you need to replace your battery so this is basically all I hope you like it and get it